Chromebook versus Laptop You might have stumbled upon a laptop labeled Chromebook and been wondering what it means and the difference between it and a normal laptop. Well that's what this video is all about, to provide you with all you need to know about Chromebook and how it differs from a normal laptop. As usual for updated pricing and the latest deals on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below and watch the whole video to see which one best suits you. Firstly, let's define a Chromebook. Chromebook is technically a laptop, but one that runs on Google Chrome OS, which means that Windows and Mac OS programs don't work on these devices. Chromebooks which are highly geared towards online usage, used to be a glorified Chrome browser. It was more recently that Chromebooks started taking more advantage of specialized software after gaining access to the Google Play Store. On the other hand, Windows and Mac OS laptops are more well-rounded devices. They use traditional desktop operating systems designed to operate independently and do much more than a Chromebook, especially offline. Because they can do more, Windows and Mac OS computers require more resources and need more powerful and expensive components to keep things running smoothly. So which one is better for you? There's no simple answer. It depends on what you value in a computer. Now let's look at the different use cases between them to help you choose wisely. Software availability is the main reason why people may choose to go with a Windows or Mac OS, as opposed to a Chromebook. Most specialized software like your AutoCAD, Adobe Premiere Pro and a host of other specialized software are released primarily for Windows and Mac OS laptops. Although there are cloud alternatives of this dedicated software for Chromebooks, like Adobe's Lightroom photo editing software and others, they are no match to the full-featured desktop option. So if you make regular usage of these types of specialized software, then a Windows or Mac OS laptop is your best option. Chromebook can offer some good gaming experience thanks to the Google Play Store, you've got an incredible catalog of gaming options on Chrome OS. But there's only one catch. Not all Android games run well on Chrome OS, and some don't run at all, because they were initially built for phones and tablets, not laptops. However on the other hand, Windows and Mac OS laptops offer far more pleasurable gaming experience. The portfolio of available titles is insane. And since these AAA games require lots of computing resources, they can only be played with a laptop and not a Chromebook. There is no denying Windows and Mac OS laptops have the upper hand when it comes to storage. While 128GB is considered plentiful in the Chromebook world, Windows and Mac OS laptops with that amount of storage are lacking. If you have a huge collection of movies, videos, photos, music, and other resource-intensive files you might want to consider going with Windows or Mac OS. Taking advantage of the cloud is another great alternative and largely utilized by Chromebooks, but the downside is that you need to ensure that you have a steady connection to the internet. You can also use external storage too. External hard drives, SD cards, and USB flash drives can help alleviate the commonly low storage space in Chromebooks. Check out the links in the description below for my external storage recommendations. Chromebooks tend to be thinner, smaller, and lighter for the price. Meanwhile, ultra-portable traditional laptops are less common, and the few that can compete with Chromebook portability are usually significantly more expensive. If what you are looking for is true performance, you won't find it in a Chromebook. Windows and Mac OS laptops can be completely specced out, with all the necessary power to run anything you throw at them. On top of that, they are actually compatible with resource-demanding software. You can get much more raw power out of a regular laptop if you are willing to pay for the improved specs. The opposite is the case when it comes to Chromebook. No matter how much money you throw at a Chromebook, the specs plateau after a certain point. For example, the Google Pixel Book Go can be completely spec'd out for $1,400. This gets you an Intel Core i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, and a 4K screen. This is nothing to scoff at, but these are specs you can easily surpass in the Windows and Mac OS market. Remember the Google Pixel Book Go in its top configuration is one of the most expensive Chromebooks around. You can't really get a higher spec Chromebook even if you are willing to pay for it. While we can't say any OS is completely safe, Chrome OS is not as prone to attacks. Google has taken multiple measures to make sure its OS is safe from evil hands. 
Advanced Chrome technologies like sandboxing help confine virus attacks within a particular infected app and eliminates them when app processes are stopped and rebooted. Talking about rebooting, all Chromebooks run verified boot which ensures all files and app integrity before it boots, while automatic updates help to eliminate any new threat that might surface on a Chromebook. Meanwhile, Windows is a prime target for hackers, viruses, malware, and other internet dangers. It's definitely harder to keep a Windows laptop clean. Mac OS is generally considered safer, but it's still more vulnerable than Chrome OS. Chromebooks reign supreme here, however. Other laptops are also catching up in this department, thanks to low-power processors and other enhancements. It's very hard to beat Chrome OS devices in battery life. The Google Pixelbook Go has a 10-hour battery life, while the Pixel Slate improves that with a 12-hour runtime. Other Chromebooks usually get at least 8 hours of juice. Those numbers are very rare in the Windows or Mac OS realm unless you pay more. Chromebooks offer the best value right now. The operating system is not compatible with most power-hungry software which means Chromebook components can lean into more affordable territory. This is why a $300 Chromebook can often run faster and smoother than a traditional laptop costing twice the price. Chromebooks will boot, open apps, load pages, and even turn off faster. Now that you know the main differences between Chromebooks and laptops, which side are you picking? In a nutshell I would recommend Chromebooks to anyone who means to use a computer for web purposes and can live on Android apps for more complex processes. Chrome OS is faster, more affordable, secure, and much simpler to use. On the other hand, Windows and Mac OS-based operating systems can run more advanced programs and are more efficient offline. They also have a larger ecosystem of apps optimized for the laptop form factor. Here are the top three Chromebooks currently available in the market. 1. Google Pixelbook Go, this is easily the best Chromebook ever made. 2. Lenovo Chromebook Duet, best small Chromebook under $300. And the third one is Essa's Chromebook Flip which offers premium Chromebook specs at a budget-friendly price. If your choice is Windows-based laptops the following Ultrabooks are great options. 1. Razer Book 13, a premium productivity Ultrabook from Razer, the top gaming laptop makers. Check out the link at the top right corner for our full review of this laptop. 2. Dell XPS, 2-in-1, 9310, touch laptop. And the third one is the HP Spectre X360, a 13 inches 4K OLED touch. This is undoubtedly the best Ultrabook out there currently. And for the Apple fanboys, the MacBook Pro with the latest M1 chip is a trailblazer when it comes to productivity and portability. And that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video please go ahead and leave a like, if you are new to the channel and would like to see more content like this consider subscribing. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing and deals on all the products mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.